whether it's a goat in someone's living room or a dancing delivery man. There is almost nothing that escapes the view of a well-placed home security camera, but mostly these high-tech devices serve a bigger purpose. Why did you decide to put those in? Uh, there's a break-in across the street from us last year. Because like, if anything's gonna happen, someone's getting caught. It's on camera. While cameras could be a deterrent for trespassers on your property, IT security experts say if they're connected to your home wireless network, they present an opportunity for hackers. Today's day and age, everybody likes plug and play, right? Set it up, plug it in. I can see that it's working. Everything must be okay, and that's, that's generally not the case. Kuhn says basic attacks gain access to the cameras to see what people are doing, all by clicking a few keys. He scans the internet looking for devices that are connected, open ports. Giving potential hackers access to intimate views. It looks like someone's, someone's eating a snack in their living room in uh, the Republic of Korea. And big businesses aren't immune, like this camera at a company in Kentucky. And if I want to see what's going on on the left, I can hit the left button and we can pan the, pan the camera left or pan the camera right if we'd like to. In Manchester alone, we found over 10,000 of these ports where someone's privacy isn't all that can be violated. It can show you, you know, smart thermostats, smart refrigerators, anything that's plugged in and connected to the internet. Kuhn says one of the overwhelming concerns is data collection. Sometimes hackers just need a nibble of information that's laying in plain sight. You can see I can actually take a look at the name on the rug. It looks like Freedoms. Yeah. It says freedom something, so it said it was in Augusta, Georgia. In just minutes, a simple Google search locates an elderly home. The lobby tour even shows pictures of residents' mailbox numbers. Yeah, you don't have to be a cybersecurity expert to gain access to any of these. And neither do hackers who have access to a list of the default manufacturer passwords for devices online. That makes the way to protect yourself rather simple. Change your password once you install the camera. So one of the things we recommend is to have a complex password and a password that's not four characters, a password that's eight to ten or more characters or a phrase. Other ways to upgrade your security? Experts suggest using WPA3 encryption on your routers if available, turning off router features that you don't need, and update camera firmware frequently or whenever possible. Mike Cherry, WMUR News 9.